Every application created with code on time comes with a search, sort, filtering, and grouping out of the box. You can see that we've used search in order to find all records that contain the word sales. We've also sorted by contact name. Let's see what happens when we navigate to another page and back to customers. Notice that our searching and sorting has not been restored. The data manipulation history is not preserved when returning to the page. This history includes search, sort, filtering, and grouping. If you would like to preserve the data manipulation, we can enable the history on the data view. We click on the project name in the app generator and press develop. In Visual Studio Solution Explorer, find the touch settings.json file. Let's add a property under UI called history. Under history, add data view. We can now specify a space separated list of values that we would like to preserve in the history. The options include search, sort, filter, and group. Go ahead and save the changes. We'll need to exit and re-enter the app to pick up the latest changes. Let's search for managers from English-speaking countries. Now that we have our list, we can navigate to a different page. Upon returning to the Customers page, notice that our filtering has been reapplied. The default value of the UI History Data View setting is UI. With this configuration, only UI manipulations are preserved, such as column sizes and freezing. Note that this feature works the same way in both native apps and the browser. Now that the history is set to UI, the search will not be preserved. Have you noticed the difference between the page startup performance when history is enabled as compared to disabled? One benefit of disabling data manipulation history is that applications running in the browser are prefetching data and embed the response into the page. The page does not need to make requests to read the first page of data, it simply reads it from the embedded definition. For example, when your app runs in the browser, you will notice that data is displayed immediately when the page loads. We can take a look at the source of the page by pressing Ctrl U. There is a collection of prefetched data in JSON format. which represents the response the client would have received when the client requests the first page of data. Let's go ahead and reintroduce history. Let's try to navigate to those pages again. Let's see that again. A brief loading message is displayed when the page loads and data arrives after a short delay. 
This prefetch feature is not available in native apps since the page is loaded from the local device and the data either comes from the remote server or local storage when handled by offline data processor.